The village of Coopert on the Tyve estuary is home to a number of registered vessels, but with many obstacles to deal with in terms of being able to operate from a landing area affected by tide and the moving estuary. Just getting out to sea in one of the most challenging estuary navigations in West Wales is just the start for every skipper operating from the mouth of the Tyve. Whilst this is the case, fish families like that of Len and Mandy Walters have made a success of bringing their own landed catch to the plates of local customers and further afield. The family has been fishing for 30 years and for the past 14 years, Mandy has been processing the catch herself. She sells a variety of fish and shellfish at a local farmer's market in Llandidoch, but also travels to markets further afield, including Swansea and Cardiff. Operating two vessels, Glass Adorlan and Channel Fisher, their son Aaron is now coming into the business and supporting the fishing side with his father. Len is an active member of the Llandidoch community and supports the RNLI lifeboat based at Poppet Sands, having recently won a St David's Award for bravery in the rescue of a stranded family. The Cardigan area has been a hub of activity with regard to the Fisheries Local Action Group projects delivered in the area to support the local fishing communities. One such project has been a feasibility study into options to create easier access at the mouth of the Tyvee and create more flow by shortening the width of the sand and rock bar. An aspect of the project has been to assess increasing in flow and decrease the level of silting in the Tyvee as a number of vessels travel up the Tyvee to meet the merchants' lorries who collect from the hard standing in Cardigan town itself. A second project has considered the use of sail-powered vessels for bass fishing. The project has sought to test the feasibility of using vessels without engines in targeting bass a species known to shy away from the noise and vibration of powered vessels. An additional aspect of the project has been to use this method of angling as a way to encourage young people into the industry as a first step. Heavily involved in the development and implementation of these projects has been Nick Newland of Swallow Boats. Swallow Boats is a producer of high-quality, handcrafted leisure sailing boats made in Coubert at a purpose-built facility. Employing a number of local, highly skilled craftsmen, Swallow Boats is typical of the type of business the Fisheries Local Action Group seeks to support in terms of the sustainability and development of coastal communities. <laughs> 